Welcome back to the Hamilton Public Library. This is Linda and today we're making a macrame plant hanger. You will need a wooden ring to hold all your cording. You will also need six cords approximately 10 feet each folded in half and through the ring. The first thing we're going to do is wrap the cords together. This gives it a nice finished look and keeps the cords in place. So we're going to take another piece of cording. This is about 40 to 60 inches long, depending how long you want to make your wrapping. And we're going to set it beside the cords and fold it one end in half, like fold one end a little bit. We're going to gather all the cords together. And then you're going to use the long end to wrap everything together. So you're basically just wrapping around holding the um, cords tightly while you wrap the long piece tightly around. And you're just gonna do this um, you know, for a few inches, approximately two or three. So you can see that I left a small piece of the cord that I am wrapping around the other end sticking out. This is important because we're going to use this piece to pull the other end of the cord through and make a knot underneath the wrapped part, portion of the cords. So here we go, we're just gonna wind it around and then you're going to take the end of this cord and you're gonna loop it through that loop that we left in the beginning. You're gonna pull that tight and you're going to hold that cord along with all the other cords together and you're going to pull the other end and you'll see the loop disappeared underneath the wrapped cords. Now you just need to snip the two um, pieces of cording and there you have your wrapped end. So this is a really great way to also finish off the product and, uh, project and we'll do it again at the end and you can't see any knots and it's a nice clean uh, way to start your project. Next, we're gonna start with the knotting of the cords. Now we're ready to start uh, knotting our cords. We're going to divide this into three sections. We're making a plant hanger that's for a pot that's on the small side. If you wanted to make a larger one, you're going to need to add more cords. So four sections or five sections, um, so to add another one, you'd need two more cords of 10 feet each that you would fold in half. So to begin the project, we're going to divide our cords into three sections of four cords each. So once you have them divided, you're going to uh, find two cords in that group. So two out of the four, we're going to tape them down. The two cords that we tape down will not move throughout the knotting process. It's only the cords on the left and the right that will move and um, make, the, uh, make the knots. So you're going to tape the two middle ones down and you're basically using the two outer cords to wrap around the middle cords to make the pattern. Today we're making this spiral knot and this um, always starts with the left cord. So it's the same knot over and over again. And you begin by picking up the left cord. You're going to fold it across all the cords in a triangular shape. Then you're going to pick up the right cord, place it on top of the left cord. Then you'll pick up the end of the right cord. You're going to thread it underneath all the cords and through the triangular hole that is left by the left cord. And then you're going to pull both the right and the left cords. Basically, you're moving them up the middle cords and you're going to pull them snugly, but not too tight. And you're going to stop about two to three inches below the end of the wrapped section of uh, the project. So now we're going to do this again. We're going to take the left cord. We're going to fold it into a triangle, bring the right cord over and then thread the end of the right cord underneath and through the triangle. Okay, and we're just going to continue this um, over and over again. We're gonna go down about 
six to seven inches. Now you could make it longer or shorter. It's up to you how you want it to look. Um, if you do make it longer, your planter holder will be uh, shorter. So you want to make sure that if you want to make a really long one that you're going to cut your cords longer then. Okay, and you can see that when I'm tightening it, I'm not yanking it or pulling it really, really tight because that will kind of just um, make it kind of wonky in the shape. What you want to do is just pull it snugly, like snug enough so that it's not going to come undone, but you don't want to over tighten. And we're just going to continue on. As you see um, that I'm going to be adding more knots to this, it will spiral on its own. So you don't have to do anything special to make the knot spiral. It will do it on its own. So we're going to continue here for a few minutes. And you can see it's already beginning to take shape. You can see how it is spiraling already. And it's only been about four knots. And this can take a bit of practice. If you don't get it right away, it's not a big deal. You can easily undo the knots and start again. You can also experiment, you know, if you um, don't like this particular knot, there are plenty of other ways to, to make the planter. I like the way the spiral uh, looks, but you can learn different knotting techniques. We have lots of books at the library. This is where I've learned to make most of my knotting patterns. So, um, you know, you just take out the book and practice different knots, practice uh, different patterns, and then you can put them together. So I basically learned how to do the spiral knot, um, the square knot. I've learned how to do a lot of them through, the, through using these books. And then you just kind of put something together. You now know how to uh, make a spiral knot and later on we'll do the square knot and you can kind of, you know, see how your planter will look. You can use um, different knotting techniques to make your planter. So I encourage you to check out some of these books and uh, see what you like to do and just practice. So now you can see it's obviously spiraling. It's um, twisting on its own and it's looking very cute. So we're just gonna keep going. In a few seconds, we're gonna add a bead. This is not necessary. You don't have to add beads to your projects, but I will show you how to do it in case you want to. You will need beads that have a larger uh, mouth. You don't want them to be really tiny because it, you will not be able to fit four cords through the bead. And today we're just gonna add one bead for each section, but you can um, add more if you'd like. So you're not limited to the one. As you are, you can see as you uh, proceed with the project, your pattern or your strings will want to spin around on its own. So this is a good time to, un, um, to remove the tape at the bottom. Make sure you know which one you're supposed to start with next. So there's your left. I've wound it around my hand. I'm going to remove the tape and I'm just going to twist this all the way around in the 360 and then my wrapped uh, left string is still on the left. Now you're going to tape them down again and you're going to continue. So you may have to do this a couple of times throughout the project. It's just because it's spiraling, it wants to turn over. As long as you always remember which uh, cord has to remain on the left. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a bead and I'll show you how to insert the bead. You can either, um, I'm using a crochet hook to help me insert uh, the bead. You can thread it through. <clears throat> it is a little more difficult. Or you can use a needle with um, a large eye to thread the cords through. Okay, 
So you can see here I've uh, pushed the crochet needle through. I've hooked the cording onto it and now I'm going to pull it through the, the hole. And you're just going to do this with all of your cords and then you're going to place your bead snugly in place and then you're going to continue with um, the knotting. So this does take a bit of time. It's not easy to pull the cords through, but the crochet needle certainly makes it a lot easier. And even if you pull some of the threads out of place, it's easy to straighten them up. And then once you uh, continue with the knotting pattern, you don't even see that the cord was pulled um, out of place. So you see here, I pulled out a piece of thread from that. So I'm going to pull it back out, straighten it up. And like I said, you won't see that there's that little piece that uh, was pulled through. And then I'm gonna try pulling it through again. As you put one or two cords in there, it gets a little more difficult. So I've almost got it there. There we go. And now we just have the last one. So remember to always know which one is your left cord. That's very important so that you can continue. You'll notice as well that the left and the right cords are getting shorter. So you'll be able to tell which are your two long cords that you have to tape down. So once this one is through, I'm going to tape down my two long cords again. And I'm going to start again with my left cord and continue knotting. You want to um, the bead. You want the bead to be kind of in the middle, so you want to continue knotting enough to so that it looks even on either end. Okay, so now I'm just trying to tape down the two long cords so that we can can continue the pattern. Okay, so once they're taped down, you're just going to start again with your left cord. You're going to bring it over. And you're going to thread the right cord through. Okay, so now that I have it all done, we're going to continue with the other two sections and you're going to start your knotting at the same part, at the same spot on the other section so that they all look uh, fairly even. So I'm gonna finish the other two sections and I'll be back in just a moment. You can see that I finished the three sections. Uh, the spiral knot it starts at, in the same spot for all three sections and ends in the same spot. So now we have to connect the three sections together. If you were to just knot it at the bottom and insert a pot, the pot would fall out because there is nothing holding it together. So we're essentially going to make a basket for your pot. So we're going to separate the three sections and then you're going to take two cords from two sections each and we're going to connect those two cords together. So this will um, help hold your pot in place. So once you've uh, separated all your sections, you're gonna tape four cords down. So two from um, two sections, two each from two sections. So we're gonna tape them down together to hold them in place. And then we're going to separate two cords again, like we did with the spiral knot and we're gonna tape those at the bottom because um, they won't move. And what we're making this time is called the square knot. Um, it is 
the same as the spiral knot except it will be alternating sides so with the spiral knot you're making the triangle with the left so we're going to do the same thing here we're making the triangle and we're going to thread the right uh, thre uh, cord through but then the next uh, knot will be um, will start on the right side rather than the left so it's the same type of technique just this time we'll be alternating so now I'm going to start with the right side I'm going to make the triangle and I'm going to thread the left cord through and so you've got the first two done so we're going to start on the left side again and we're just going to alternate we're only doing this two times on each side you could make it a bit longer if you'd like it's not totally necessary and now we're going to do the right side so you can see that this makes kind of a zigzag pattern on um, the cords so if you wanted to use something like this instead of the spiral knot you'll just get a really nice zigzag pattern um, along your three sections so now we're going to remove the tape and we're going to grab two cords from two other sections each and we're going to join them together and you want to make sure you start in the same spot so that they kind of fall um, in the same spot around the planter. So again, I'm going to separate the two cords. I'm going to tape all the cords down at the top. I'm going to tape the two cords down at the bottom to keep them in place. And we're going to start with the left side and alternate with the right. And there we go. So now we're going to try to fall in to the same spot as the other knot, just so that they look nice and uniform. Now we're going to go to the right and bring the left through. And then we're going to go back to the left and bring the right through. And now your last one on the right. So once we're done this section, we're gonna do the last two, or sorry, the last four uh, chords <clears throat> from, the, the, from two other sections. And then um, at the end, we're going to do the same wrapping technique we did at the beginning to tie, to tie off the planter so that your plant doesn't fall right through. And then um, we're done. So we're just gonna finish this one up now. And again, we're going to separate two uh, cords. We're gonna tape them down. Tape all four at the top, tape the two at the bottom, and then we're gonna start with the left. Okay, so you're going to try to stop right in the same section there. And now we're going to continue with the right. And then uh, you're going to use the left next. Okay, we're almost done. This is so exciting. We're going to have a great little planter holder. And like I said, if you wanted to make this bigger, you would use the same techniques. There's more, more cording, longer cording. So it's up to you. Just practice and um, see what you come up with. So now we're going to wrap the ends together, just like we did at the top. So you're gonna take a piece of cording you're going to fold one end along the side of the cords and you're gonna gather them all together and then you're going to take the long piece and wrap it around. Make, make sure you leave a little piece sticking out at the top because that's what we'll use to pull everything through. So you're gonna just wrap it snugly around all the cords 
If you didn't want to do this at the end, uh, the wrapping again, you could always just do a simple knot to, you know, all the cords together and loop it through a knot. Uh, that works as well. So now we're going to take the end of this piece that we're wrapping around and we're going to again thread it through the loop. And then you're going to use this string or the cord that we left um, sticking out at the top. We're going to use that to pull it all through. This is a nice uh, technique to use to just to cover up all the knots so you don't see them. And then we're going to snip the ends. And all you need to do now is put your planter in. If you wanted to have like a softer fringe at the end you could comb those out if you like you don't have to but here you are you've made your own macrame a planter holder thanks for watching and please check out the other videos i have on this channel